Today, I'll be talking about the Google Analytics 4 upgrade and show you how you can do it safely and efficiently. Now, here's what we'll be covering. How to upgrade to Google Analytics 4, why you should upgrade, and how to set up dual tracking on your WordPress site. Google Analytics 4 is Google's newest version of their analytics tool. It's quite different from the previous version, Universal Analytics, so thinking about proceeding with the upgrade to GA4 can be intimidating. Now, at Monster Insights, we recommend that you upgrade, but with a very important exception. Keep using your Universal Analytics right alongside the new one. If you have a Universal Analytics property and you'd like to add a GA4 property, all you have to do is follow these simple steps. The process is easy. Just follow Google's Setup Assistant. To access that assistant in your analytics account, click on Admin, and then in the middle column, the Property column, click on GA4 Setup Assistant. Then click the blue Get Started button. Then click the Create Property button. The last option will either be checked or not based on which version of the tracking tag that you currently have installed. And that's it. Now you have a Google Analytics 4 property in addition to your Universal Analytics property. If you don't have a Universal Analytics account at all and you'd like to set up a GA4 account, be sure to check out our article on how to add Google Analytics 4 to WordPress. I'll leave a link in the description. GA4 is the next generation of web analytics, and it's very smart. Google's working hard to bring automated insights, upgrade event tracking, and more to all of its users. Also, there won't be any further improvements made to Universal Analytics. Now, the Google team is working on GA4, so they won't be releasing anything new on the old platform. Now, all that being said, there's definitely some issues that they're busy trying to work out and GA4 doesn't have all of the features that Universal Analytics has. One of the big issues is that it doesn't have all of your historical data. It's like starting all over from scratch with new data. So that's going to make it hard to recommend GA4 as a standalone solution. So at Monster Insights, we recommend having both a Universal Analytics property and a GA4 property. That way you're building up data in your new GA4 property while still keeping all of the features from Universal Analytics. If you're using WordPress, you can connect both your Universal Analytics and GA4 properties to your WordPress dashboard. That way you can keep aspects of Universal Analytics that no longer exist in GA4, like bounce rate, for example, while still feeding data into your GA4 property. Plus, Monster Insights allows you to set up sophisticated tracking features such as event tracking, e-commerce tracking, form tracking, custom dimension tracking, outbound link tracking, and more with just a click of a button. When you're setting up Monster Insights, you'll see it a box that allows you to add your dual tracking profile. Monster Insights is the only WordPress analytics plugin with dual tracking capabilities. If you'd like to know the best way to get started with Monster Insights and dual tracking, be sure to check out the link to our tutorial on how to add Google Analytics 4 to WordPress. Now, we hope this video on GA4 has helped you to make the decision that's right for your site. For a deeper dive into GA4 and its differences from Universal Analytics, be sure to check out the link in the description into what is Google Analytics 4, should you use it. Now, with Monster Insights, you get the website stats that matter. See why we're used by more than 3 million websites. Get a special discount by visiting the link in the description. And thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content just like this. We'll see you next time.